So 36 through 38 is this, this little interim where Simon comes to him, and when they'd found him, they said unto him, All men seek for thee. Everybody's trying to find thee. Why? Why couldn't they find him on that particular day? Because if you look at verse 35, it says, In the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place and there prayed. It's one of those little interlude sections in, in the scriptures that gives you this idea that Jesus' entire ministry wasn't just filled from dawn to dusk with going around busily serving and healing and teaching and, and being with the people. Jesus took time to get away and connect with heaven and to commune with God. The amazing thing about scripture study is you don't need people to preach to you and tell you what to do and how to do it and when to do it. For me, the power of, of learning in the scriptures and to, to teach and to be a student as we, as we all work our way through the scriptures together is to find principles of the gospel, truths that can apply to us and then go to heaven. And as we make a serious study of the scriptures, ask the Lord, how could I apply that in my life? And it's going to look different for you than it does for me, than it does for Taylor and, and everybody else. But it's this idea of find time to, to spend some quality uh, prayer opportunities to commune with God every single day. President Nelson has invited us to do that, and other apostles have, have said that as well. Such a powerful principle coming out of this page.